were of those 20 years gone. Yeah, they flashed by, mate, didn't they? You know, I still feel like a spring chicken, I've got to tell you that this morning. <laughs> Boils on the Water was a fantastic occasion. What are your memories of that concert, that show? I think just being in this glorious setting, like where we are now, you know, the fabulous harbour of Sydney, having a mob of people in front of you who are just so stoked that they actually happen to get to see the oils on this location. Knowing that all the bits and pieces were in place for performance and for recording it and that it was being beamed out live across Australia on Australia Day. And just thinking, you know, wow, this is like, normally we were sitting around in grungy pubs and here we are in this other beautiful place. So yeah, very special. Well, I just reckon that, you know, I was lucky to be in the band, you know, and, uh, and we did have the right combination of people there who were really in sync with what we wanted to do when we got on stage. And because we did it, it's all about your early years, isn't it, mate? It's all about where you start. And where we started, we had our backs up against the wall. And I think it gave us an intensity of playing and it bound us together as a group of musicians. And so then when you throw us onto these sorts of settings, a stage like this, or you go to Exxon to demonstrate in New York or whatever, you just know you can do it and you've just got that confidence that everybody is going to be able to play and sort of make the thing work. Every era is special and different, of course, but am I just being nostalgic? Was the early 80s a, a pretty special time for Australian music? Gee, I don't know. I mean, I think it, it always looks a bit better in hindsight, doesn't it? But I think it was just a sense of optimism, but it was a special time in the sense that there was a lot of it, a lot of enthusiasm for Australian music. People loved their Aussie rock, and uh, they stuck with you, which was really good. There you go, that's blowing the cobwebs out of the joint. A little midnight oil on a Tuesday morning on the Today.